What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Montero Baker, aka Tony from the hit series DJ's MLP. Make sure y'all go check that out on Amazon Prime and different more platforms. But today, I have a special guest. And this guest today is from DJ's MLP. And as y'all know, we don't like him for real, for real. We'll be honest, man. Me and, me and, me and Bryce need to, you know what I mean? But I ain't gonna get too much into that. I'm just ready for DJs. Welcome to Death Row. You know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna we gonna see what happens to this character right here, man. But today I have a special guest. He is an actor, and he do he plays it to the T, man. He plays the piece. And I got my boy right here, Tyreek Williams, man. What's up, man? AKA Peace. It's Good a pleasure. Man. It's a pleasure. Appreciate you having me on here, man. Wait, wait, wait. How you feel, man? How you feeling today? Oh, man, I'm feeling good. Even better that you got me on this podcast finally, bro. I've been waiting. Real talk, real talk, bro. I'm blessed, man. I'm glad. I'm glad you're here, too, man. Um, just sharing your, sharing your knowledge with me today. Just sharing your presence with me today. You feel me? So I'm just glad you're here. You feel me? But I kind of want to get into it a little bit. Um, What made you, you know... Get into the entertainment business. What made you say, you know, I want to be an actor. I want to entertain people, you know, because you, even off camera, you entertain them. You know what I mean? You don't even try to be, but you entertain it. So what made you want to be an actor and entertain people? Oh, man. Honestly, bro, it's just as you said, it's always been a thing for me to entertain people, you know. It's always been a thing for me, you know, right. help people to enjoy the parts of life. Mm. And, you know, I used to see the things that DJ would do, his videos, the works he's done. Right. And so, you know, acting is something I've always wanted to do. So when I saw DJ, what he was doing, I said, what better way to get into it than to start with somebody that has a dream and a vision? Right, right. Something that I can grow and be a part of with, too. Exactly. And make history. Man, and I'm telling you, you definitely making that. For definitely. sure. Definitely making history, man. Like, you know what I mean? And you doing your thing is peace, man. Like, I just want to know, like, and I know a lot of people out there want to know, like, what do you think about your character, peace? Like, you know, or uh, do y'all have certain characteristics, stuff like that? You know what I mean? Just kind of get into your character a little bit. Talk about your character. You know, like, what, what you think about your character and stuff like that. So, oh, man, when it... When it come when it come to playing peace, man, it's it's almost like you know, like I play a part of me that I don't really show, mm. you know, because peace comes off as a guy that's sort of he's in control, but yet he's also calm minded, you know. Right, right. He's always looking to see what he can take his group to be able to get them where they need to be. Okay. That's sort of something I relate to, you know. Right. Because I always look ahead to try to see what I can do what's best. Not only for me, but the people around me, you know? Exactly. Because, like, for example, you gave me this great opportunity to be on here. Something, exactly. to, help, something to help grow, man. And it's an awesome thing to be a part of, bro. Exactly. Really I appreciate is. that. I appreciate that, man. Um, and wise words, as you say, man. Um, You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you said your character is a part of you, and I think that's a, I think that's a, I think that's a great thing. Um, Just you using that and allowing yourself to flourish not only for yourself, but for others around you and, and help you develop and be good around to the people around you as well. But, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we, we uh, right now we haven't been working for real. You know what I mean? We kind of been chilling for real, like off camera and stuff like that. And, you know what I mean? Uh, we've been in a lot of scenes together. Um, Oh man! But like, but like, far as you know, us being on camera, you know, what I mean, you great to work with, um, great chemistry. You know, you make us laugh. You the guy. You you the guy that make us laugh. You know, what I mean, always have us laughing, even if you don't try to. You know, what hey, I mean, man. you do little stuff and all that, and it be funny as hell, man. And hey, you know, it's the thing. I don't even try to, man. Y'all yeah. just y'all. I, I just stand there looking, and y'all will crack up at me, bro. And right. I tell. I don't even try to be funny. But then they say, oh, that's just what make it funny. Like you said, I had to be stopped. I don't even be doing nothing. But, bro, like, that's just part of what I was saying, man. It's just the spread of that joy, man. It's just being myself. Right. And that's, you know, 
Hell, if we can bring if we can bring joy to people, shoot, you know that's it's that, it's just realness to be genuine, you know. Exactly. For now real. that's now that's a beautiful thing. It and is, man. That's a beautiful thing. Just like you want to see other people happy and smiling and doing doing what they doing and stuff like that and being happy, being themselves and stuff like that. You know that's that's what you want to do when you whatever you doing, you want to be yourself and you want to you don't want to put a front on or, or, or fake it or nothing like that. So you always being yourself. You be the same way every time we on camera, but but you do a hell of a job. And I think you know a lot of people don't get credit, but I want to give you your credit. Like you play piece to the core. But I want to ask you, you know, what kind of got you into playing piece? Like, how did that start? Like, I know you told me about how you started acting and all this, but how did that start, you playing piece? Oh, man, it's... I can say this. When I first hit up BJ, you know, as far as to start, you know, being a part of his company, you know, I hit him up and I was like, hey... You know, I see what you're doing. I see your vision. Mm. You know, something I respect. I want to be a part of. And I told him, I said, hey, whether you want me to be a role or even just somebody behind the scenes, you know, I'll do it the best that I can. You know, and so he gave me an opportunity. Right. Appreciate that for me, DJ. He gave me the opportunity, you know, started out something small, just like a little side character, you know, not really doing much. Right. And then so then he came to me and said, hey, you know, I see what you're doing. Now I want you to play a little bit more of a role. Mm. And I said, yeah, man, I'll take it on. And so, you know, it was actually something with him because Peace is actually a name that I really didn't even think was going to be the name, you know, because he came to me and said, hey, you know, I want you to play this role, but I don't have a name. What you want your name to be? He was like, you can pick it yourself even. And so, you know, he told me, like, with MMP, he was like, oh, yeah, you know, one of the main characters going to be is War. I was like, okay, well, shoot, I just think I talk in my head, war, and I was like, war is peace. I was like, yeah, you just call me peace, you know? Mm. It wasn't something I think it stick, but, you know, it's just something that just seemed to flow with it, you know? Because right. war and peace, you, you got to have both. It and I feel like, yeah, you. it really did. Okay. You know, it's like, it, 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 just, it just fits perfectly to it, man. It really okay. do. And so, yeah, when he came out to it, I was like, yeah, so you got war and peace together. Hey man, it's it, it, it's it's a it's a great thing to see, bro. It really right. is a nice mix. Um, I just want to know, like, what was your best conflict or one of your best conflicts that you had because you have so many. You get what I'm saying? You get into it with um, so many people, so you have a lot of conflicts, and it's like, what was one of your best conflicts that you had? Oh man, it's it's been a, it's been so many of them, bro. Cause you know. Just like you said, you know, I had a conflict with War, mm -hmm. and then I had it with Bryce before, too. You had and, multiple with uh, War, right? Oh, man. It's, it's yeah. been, been several with War. Yeah. And then even with the upcoming movie, DJ's Another Loving Family, man, right. it's conflict with you. You know, man, but I ain't going to get into that. But, bro, when I tell you, like, honestly, I think, I think really the best conflict or the most intense one right. is honestly between me and War. Because mm. like I said, you got war and you got peace. Right. And then it's just that clash, you know, of the mentalities that they both have. Exactly. You know, because war wants to go about things one way, but peace wants to do it another way. And then, you know. They both want to be in charge. Right. They both they both want things done a certain way. Kind of go into that. Go into detail about that a little bit. Like, explaining that conflict. You get what I'm saying? Like, kind of mm. explain, kind of explain that conflict. Like. Why Why is it so tense? Why is the conflict so tense to, with each other? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, we're keeping up with the show, you know, MMP. Right. You know, it started out, you know, where War really wasn't in the picture as much, you know. He was, he was, you know, he out just the way. wasn't there. He really, he really was out the way, man. Exactly. And, you know, so that would put the pressure upon Peace to step up with that leadership role, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, then War just comes in, you know, doesn't seem to really be taking that action when peace really wants to get things done, you know? But war just seems to, you know, sort of sidestep it. Mm. And it's kind of all putting with his name. But yet also, too, you got to understand for war's position. War's been in the game longer. Exactly. So he knows how to move about things. But peace is more so get it done, get mm. it handled. 
Okay. And so that's the conflict as far as we handle it right then or trying to play it in a smarter way. Mm. Yeah. But I can also say that's just the deep that's just the genius that, you know, that get put into it, you know? Exactly. That's just the genius that get put into writing that man. It's it's sometimes it even blows my mind because 'cause I'm like, man, like, how is this really gonna play out? But bruh, it's it's really something. But also too, I say the second this conflict though. Okay. The one that me and you have in the movie, man. Right, right, like, right. That conflict, man, like I said, I don't get it much to it because I don't want to spoil nothing, but when you see that movie, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about, bro. Exactly. Me and you, like, literally. Because we never had a conflict before like, that. at all, bro. You know what I mean? Like, we, we did never have a conflict before that. And so, like, in the movie, you know, we end up having a conflict. And I think people are gonna be ready to see that. Y'all stay tuned, man. November 18th, man. Go watch that in the theaters, man. Y'all gonna need to see that, man. It's really gonna that's something serious, I'm telling you. Exactly, exactly. Man. But you know what I'm saying? Um, like far as the movie, let's kind of get into that. You know what I mean? Like, um, what do you think about the movie? And how you feel how you feel about the movie? Oh man, this and how it play out? Cause I think I think the scene and the storyline is amazing. You know what I mean? Oh man, that 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 story that story flows so smooth, man. It really do, and it's and it's just it's crazy to me to where how you know DJ's made that story to where he takes different parts out of other things he's done mm-hmm. and just feed it into it, Add just it into that mix, man. Exactly. And it's like. It's like you'll see this one thing happening, but you may not fully understand it unless you've seen this, what's happening over exactly. here. Exactly. And so, you know, sort of the thing that gets you to be like, well, I got to see this to see why this is happening. Exactly. You feel me? And it's like, man, it's like, it's 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 such an amazing thing to see, bro, and be a part of because it's like being a part of it. It's like, you know, but you don't want to tell it, but it's just to watch it all come together mm. and just slowly unfold, man, that's... That like you said, that's an amazing thing, man. Exactly. Like, and it's great to be a part of. I ain't even gonna lie. For like, sure. And honestly, with this, like, this being my first movie, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. Def- it's yeah. definitely one that's gonna be that needs to be seen. Like, for sure. It, it definitely is. Like, it's. I agree. It, it's definitely something that you gonna leave out that theater. Like, man, I can't wait for the next one. Honestly. And we got some hits coming up. Oh, so man. Who that, you, you know telling, bro? I'm like, talking about, boy, the next several years, oh. Bro, that's we, what I'm saying. We, like, we going to be working. We going to be working, man. We going to be working, getting to, the, getting to it, man. Like, making sure, you know what I mean? We going to get to it, man. Man, for real. Busy, busy. But, you know, I, you know, that's one thing I like, you know what I mean? Just having that same character that you can keep evolving him and keep growing him and and doing that, you know what I mean? Just once you have that same character, so we we done been in the, we done been in it so long, we done got used to our characters man, and how to portray them and how to add on to them and all kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So, kind of tell us how do you portray a uh, piece, like being who being who piece is, and, and then how do you portray that? Man, it's, it, it really just it really takes. Like you said, it really just takes a sense of tapping into that part of you. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Just like you, you know, you play your character Tony. Right. You know, pretty sure you feel like Tony's a part of you in a way. Because mm-hmm. that's what helps you bring that energy. But right. it's sort of like, you know, like, and it's like a thing that I go to, like, a thing that I go through, like, like a week before we do the shooting, like, I tap into that part of side of me a piece, you know, like, like, you know, like, I even say, like, I be practicing my lines like when I'm just either at the stove at work. Like some people think I'm crazy. Like they look at me like even people at work they be laughing at me right. like Are you alright? Cause I was literally going through my lines was part special part of the movie. You know, like I'm saying like part of the movie is like you know when I say that do that and like are well, you okay? I'm like yeah. <laughs> I just be like yeah man like I'm just I'm just doing something for a movie and then they be like oh you're in the movie and I be like yeah I'm in a TV show too you know yeah. DJ and MP and everything right like, bro when I tell you I get so many looks when I be rehearsing on my own because I just be there and I just be like yeah 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 you know what I mean? and then like well, I caught one old lady she she <laughs> she was shaking a little bit I thought I scared her but. <laughs> 
She had a little, she, but it's okay though. She, you know, older lady. She was like, are you all right, baby? You need some candy? I said, oh no, ma'am. I'm just, you know, rehearsing. <laughs> I'm just rehearsing. For the movies, man, actually. for real. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know, you should watch it. She was like, okay, if that'll help you calm down, I'll check it out. <laughs> <laughs> man. But honestly, though, man, it's, it's, <laughs> It's really just something, you know, that I get into. No, that's funny. It, yeah. it really is, bro. Cause, right. Because, you, know, you know, I feel like if you don't feel like you can relate or that character thing a part of you, you won't play it to your best part, you know. So right. It's it, it's just something I feel like, you know, with portraying peace, it's portraying a side of me that I really wouldn't normally show, mm. you know, or just a part of me that, you know, is from, like, if I chose a different path of life. Right. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I agree with you, man. Like, far as me, like, I ain't nothing like my character far as what he do or like, what he into. Mm -hmm. But, like, I can, I can see, like, the anger and stuff like that being into it and stuff like that. That's, right. Yeah. I can see that, yeah. But, you know what I mean? Um, Like I said, you know, you play that to the T, man. You know what I mean? But, you know, you also... We we have a lot of people we act with and, and do a good job, you know what I mean? So oh, man, so many people. You know, I asked you what was your best conflict, but now I want to know who is the best person you like working with and the scene, your best scene. Ooh boy, ooh, boy, you done made a tough question even tougher, boy, because all the people I don't work with, man. Right. Like, it can be more than one, you know what I mean? However you want to answer bro, it. Can I say everybody? Because, man, it, <laughs> to pick one, to, to just, man, it's really hard to say because, I mean, man, I don't work with just about everybody, bro. Yeah. Just about, you know, from you, you know, the Ty playing Bryce, you know, then Daryl playing the war, and it's, and then even... And then even with, man, I tell you, even the guy that DJ brought on, man, Kelly Keaton, the one that played, man, I think y'all well, call him Chucky, right? Yeah. Yeah, y'all call Ty him Chucky. I do. Ty David called Chucky. I can see why, man, because in that one episode, bro, when he came into the scene, we had to hide out, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about that man played that part good. And that's, right. like, he was so great to work with, bro. And it's like... Being out of that character, bro, you wouldn't even, I wouldn't even think it. Like, you wouldn't even think it, because that guy's so cool, bro, but, like, he snaps into that character so well, bro. Like, right, right. As far as people that I've that I seen just come into it, he plays it well. He went, man, Dennis, and then, oh, And I think you can, boy, Who? Jerry, the one that plays Seamus. Seamus. Man, yeah. when I tell you my first time working with him, no, he, I'm talking. <laughs> yeah. That man is one thing. I mean, he cool. I'm talking no, about he one cool. of the coolest that's what I'm saying. guys. Like, like, like the coolest guys you could ever meet. But man, when he get into that character, I'm yeah, telling you, bro, like serious. the nervousness, like, right, bro, right, from the first episode, like that was. I was really nervous because like that dude played it so well. I'm like, oh man, like he really he ended this, you know, right. like shoot, bro, it's like. With, with the people I named, man, like, those parts I had the best experience with, man. And then even with you, bro, like, every time we have a scene, bro, it's, we nail that stuff, bro. It's yeah, everything, yeah, bro. We, like, and that's, it and real, that's the man. thing, bro, like, you know, I'm going to let you get to your scene in a minute, but I want to kind of say this, you know what I mean? It's one thing for you to be good, but, like, when you're around people that want that want you to be good and they trying to, and you trying to make them better, it's a different story. Man. You get what I'm saying? Like, like when I'm acting, I want to make everybody else in the scene better. You know what I mean? And I and I think you kind of the same way. You know what I mean? But what's kind of what's your best scene in DJ's MLP? Best scene? Yeah. Mm, man, which one to pick from? Honestly, I think, in my opinion, I had to say that my best scene was probably my interaction with Ty and Bryce in the basement mm. when it came to the part, you know, when he, 
when he showed that he was working with the feds, you know. Oh my God, he did. He, yeah, man, I'm telling you, bro, because it was like, I feel like that was my best scene because it got me to show, you know. Kind of get into that. Right. You get into right. that. Right, because it's like, okay, like in the scene, you know, I'm opening up that door to Bryce to say, hey, he can be the right hand man. Mm. But then also, you know, to show that comfort that I trust him, but then also the sense of betrayal, the intensity, the anger. Right. You know, to where. He t- he showed me he showed a why and it's like oh so you but actually, traitor man I'm talking about traitor and it's like I think that's my best scene because it shows me to play that trust but then also the anger right. and then how I handle it like you know from from so you felt like you handled it exactly like you supposed man, to man I'm telling you because DJ said when I, I want you to get into it I want you to show anger frustration I want you to actually feel like you were betrayed. And I feel like that's what I did, you know, because, yeah. like, and I said, you know, like, I man, you said, like, with, 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 with that scene, you know, don't get me wrong, like, Ty, he played Bryce real good, like, right. I'm saying, like, I agree. Like, I couldn't imagine nobody else playing Bryce the way Ty do, exactly. you know, because, like, with the way he, the way he carries himself and then the way he do that character, like, mm. it helped me get a moment to it, you know, just because... That's just how he puts himself into it. Exactly. You know, like, because you got to think about it to, to know that, you know, it's just a scene, but yet you actually feel it. Exactly. And just because, like you said, he brought the energy mm-hmm. to help me bring out that energy, too. What you need to bring out. Right. Exactly. And so, you know, like, like, like honestly, for what I remember, like, I, I think I really got a good amount of scenes right. with Ty playing with Bryce. You know, and so it's like I sort of feel that chemistry with them, you know. Exactly. Like we sort of help each other, you know. And then we even had a little conflict in front of War, you know, like to the parts, you know, like it seemed like War trying to bring him up. Mm. And, you know, he, he's, he feeling that sense of power, you know, where he actually, instead of following what I say, he actually, you know, rising up, standing up, you know, as a man, as his character. And, man, that's, Ty really gives an admirable performance. He really do, man. Really do, and you know what? Like I think I think does. everybody. Yeah, I was like you just said. Everybody. I think everybody played the characters they got to the team, man. man you know what I mean? Really do, and that's what I'm saying. But like, it's hard to pick. But it's just that's just my opinion, you know. Right. Everybody got their own opinion, you know. Like, you know, who bring out the best and who and who play their character, right. you know. But that's just my opinion, you know. Hey, like I said I had some great scenes with you too, man. Exactly. And I don't want to. I'm saying, but it may. But props to you, man. With your scene with you and AD, man, I'm talking yeah. about. Appreciate bro, that, man. Like, Appreciate that. Like, when I tell you, when I seen that, I told you, like, y'all deserve y'all props for that. Like, hands down, bro. Because, like, that, that. that scene, like, from, from the script, bro, to how y'all acted, bro, like, bro, like, I was on the edge of my seat, like, oh, snap, they going to get into it. What's going to happen, bro? Like, Man. Nah, it was definitely intense, bro. Like, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, it was definitely an intense scene. You know what I mean? DJ told me, like, you know, I want you to kind of give it to him a little bit. And I was like, okay, bet. And I rose to the occasion. And I feel like I, I feel like AD did the same thing. You know what I mean? Mm. But kind of going back to the scene, the uh, the episode with uh, uh, Bryce, I kind of want to get into that a little bit more. <laughs> did Bryce Man. snitch? Oh, did he snitch? Do you think, as your character, that Bryce snitched? Man, I mean, you got to look at it face value. You know, usually when it come down to it, you know, you don't usually get a wire from keeping your mouth closed, you know? Hey, you usually don't. You know, to get that wire, you know, you had to tell them something to be able to say, hey, this you don't guy, let a while. Right. This guy, okay. this guy can get us more information that we need. He right. already told us this. He can give us the evidence to support it. So, mm. hey, you know, it's, man, hey, you know, I ain't saying he a rat, but, you know, hey, the rat do as the rat does. You feel me? Oh, my gosh. Man. <laughs> but man so, would you label him a rat? Ooh. The character Bryce. We ain't talking about man. time, but the character Bryce. Would you label him as a rat? It's a heavy question, but honestly, though, because you you know you call him a rat in the show. Hey, yeah, really? Because I mean, hey, I said a rat do as a rat does. So hey, 
He got that wild, so okay. a rat is a rat, man. Because I about to say, shoot, you ain't see my cut. You ain't see Peace with a wild. You ain't see War with a wild. You ain't see nobody else with a wild but Bryce. Hey. Okay. All right, then. But, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Come down to it. Call him Ratatouille, boy. Straight up. <laughs> Man got the strings pulling up and cooking it. <laughs> uh, nah, man. It's, oh, y'all had it's fun much, in here, boy. It's much love, much love. Hey, much love for sure, bro. Much love. But, um. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Like we said, talk about the movie. It come out November 18th. November 18th, man. And it's so close, man. Yeah. November 18th. Uh, a month away. Man. So close. Ooh, we, I'm ready. Man, who you, you ready? telling? Who you telling, man? You going to be front row? Man, what? I'm going to be up there at the screen, boy. At the screen. I'm going to be on the screen. You want to go blind then? No, I, I, bro, I'm already blind. I got contacts in right now. So you can see me. This is about the best you can do. <laughs> <laughs> this is about the best it is right here, bro. About the best it is, nah. But honestly though, yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna be a, I'm, a, I'm gonna get a good seat, man. Right. And I, I hope you. everybody else that come get a good seat, you know. I they, hope they ready, man. I, they better be ready, bro. They ain't got no other choice. Like you get, I'm telling you, get your snacks, get your drinks. I'm talking about you, you, you better have everything you need because you ain't gonna want to leave up out that seat. I'm telling you, you right. get the bathroom. I'm talking, sneak, blow your nose, every, turn your phone off. I hear it ringing, I'm a coming. Oh, man. <laughs> We're going to start the movie over if I hear your phone. The movie getting start over. You going to get him? Man, what? I, I'm going to go up there in the boot, restart it, rewind it. We starting this over. I'm telling you, man. It, that's just how it's going to be. I, I'm just saying, because the movie going to be that good. You're you're not, the movie going to be that good. You're not going to want to miss nothing about right. it. You ain't going to. You're going to be into it. You really are. I agree. You, you, I, you agree? I agree with I'm you. I ain't gonna talk about the, the. I ain't gonna get them on that though. But I, but I agree though. Man, like it's it's gonna be it's gonna be. Now that movie's gonna be tough, bro. Like y'all better get y'all snacks, y'all popcorn, cause y'all y'all gonna see a lot, man. In that movie, man. Tell me. I can't wait for it. Man, what? And we already know what's gonna happen with it, but man, exactly. for real. Like we know we've been down with the movie like way. You see what I'm saying? We we on to the next. You know right. what I mean? We already working on the next stuff. Exactly. We just want to make sure that y'all can enjoy and, and the work they got put into it. Like, exactly. Enjoy the entertainment. When I tell you, man, like this is one great production. And there's many more coming after, but you are not gonna want to miss this. I'm telling you. Exactly. Like, what you say? November 18th. November 18th. November 18th. Get them tickets. But we finna get ready to rap. We finna get ready to go on break with my boy right here, uh, Tyreek Williams, man, aka Peace, man. Please, I'm begging. Please, put the guns. This is who I am. Back, man, with Tony Talks, man. I got a special guest. My boy Tyreek Williams, man, aka Peace. And, you know what I mean? We, we in the building, man. Feeling good, man. Feeling blessed. You know what I mean? Just chopping it up about his character, how he feel about the character and stuff like that. Okay. Talked about the movie last, you know what I mean? Um... I want to ask you, uh, was it anybody that you didn't work with that you would like to work with? Hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Man, one person, uh, there's one person particular I would like to work with. Okay. That's been a part of previous production. That boy Trayvon Ragland. Okay. That man, I told DJ. If you ever make another comedy, put me up in there. I'm going to have something with him. 
Cause see, Trayvon, he a whole character himself. You already know, man. Mm-hmm. That, what, what, what he portray, what he portray, and what he do, man. Right. That it ain't like no different than what he do on a normal basis, man. Exactly. Yeah. Man, but and also another character I wouldn't mind working with. I'm a little jealous of you, cause you ain't had the pleasure of working with a lot. Miss Sana. Ooh, I, I kind of figured you were gonna say that, family, yeah, man, cause she she played my girlfriend. Man, I, I know I might have yeah. to talk to DJ to see, you know, she. Mm. But yeah, <laughs> we gonna leave it. We we gonna go too deep in that. Yeah, yeah, she I got she you. she is a great actress though. Yeah, for I sure. Do, I can definitely say that. I, like when she when she does her characters, when she does her role, man, it's it's outstanding. Okay. Really is, right. Man. I got you. Like, I, I think you can agree to that, man. Yeah. She, she, a, she a hell of an actress, man. I, I done said this plenty of times. I even told her, you know what I mean? Like, she, bro, she get the job done. She make you, she even make you comfortable in the scene. Like, she a hell of an actress, man. She she touched every emotion. I'm talking about every emotion, man. She she definitely, man. she acts her butt off, man. Honestly. No count. Honestly. Like, that just watching her at man, it's like, bro, it's she really put her she really put her all into it. Right. Into her scenes, man. She really do. And that that that's something, you know, highly commend her for. Exactly. She really do. And man, cause that's all I can do, man. That's it. I bet. You know, okay, so um is it we talking about scenes and we talking about actors and all that. Okay, is it any role that you would like to play, whether it's with DJ or outside of DJ, whatever? What what role would you want to play that they they ask you or DJ asks you and, and he'll be like, "Hell, you want to play this role?" And you'll be like, "Hell yeah, let me play that. I always want to play that." Oh, what man. role would that be? And what genre of movie would would that, would you want that to be? Hmm. You know, honestly, you know, honestly, the type of role that I would, if DJ is offered to me, it would be sort of in a horror role, you know, mm, horror movie. Okay. Because, man, who don't love a good horror movie? Yeah. Who don't? If it's really scary, though. Man, what? You know what I mean? Man, I'm telling you, but, hey, you know, that's just only if, you know, DJ sees fit to make him. But if he was to be like, hey. Making a horror, I'm making a horror film. Mm-hmm. I want you to play it, man. Before he even, before he even finished the word horror, I done said yes. I feel. I done you. shook his hand, and said yep. I ain't finished my sentence. You ain't got to. As soon as you say horror, yep, yeah, I'm there. What time, what place? Right, right. That's all I it's gonna take. I I'm got to. Yeah, Cause, man. Cause like it, it's, cause I don't know. Like in my opinion, I, I just like, I just like the energy that comes in a horror movie. You know, because it's, it's you know. It's, it's fear, also anger, intensity, suspense. It's, it's a lot of things going to it. Something that can really, like, you know, it's it's just another test, you mm. know, just to see, like, help develop a character, you know, expand the experience. Exactly. Definitely. Yeah. So, DJ, you make that horror show. I'm going to be right there with a little plastic knife knocking on your window when it's raining and lightning. Show you I'm ready for it. Give me, give me, me and Kelly. I'll be right, right there next to him. Just ding, ding, ding. Show now. Oh, oh snap! Oh my gosh, oh. we have a special guest, man. Oh man, my boy, Ty Blunt, Ooh, AKA Bryce, man. What's up, Mister? Hey, shout out to Tony Talks as we, you know what I'm saying, before we get the thing cracking. It's Bryce. I'm here. You Mr. Ratatouille. Yeah, speaking of right, I overheard the scary conversation. And Ooh. ain't nothing scary than this combination of fit work you got going fit on. Fit right work? Now. Oh, you want to talk about fit work? And you speak rats. Boy, Let's you talk about rats boy, too. Boy, you don't know if you're going to work out or if you're going to a football game, G. Which, and then you got to. Oh, you wore your great auntie pearls, didn't you? Look, this man neck shinier than a new. Ooh, what? Ooh, they bling it. Boy, you. Pasta auntie, hooked them up, right? You know what's crazy? What? 
I ain't even know who you was when we first walked in. You didn't even know who I was. Yeah. Where did your hair go? Man. <laughs> Where did it go? It's right here. You went from Tyreek to Tyra. Tyro. Tyro, bro? Oh, man. You look hella confused right now. Man, I really am. Because who is Tyro, bro? We don't know. You one hair cut away from looking like bro man off Martin G. Come on now. You look <laughs> like you need a sandwich, boy. You're about as skinny as DC on All right, man, let's get to this rat stuff, man. I don't know why you keep calling me a rat. Bro, because you know, I mean, look. You, you know, good way I took the wire off. I did, it was a setup for the setup. A, set, a double setup? Yeah, they was trying to set us up, and I peeped it, and I set them up. Ain't no way. They ain't going to give you a wire if you BSing them. Yeah, they will. If they looking for some info, they can give you yeah, anything. You had to give them info. To be to believe that you can get them in for. I had to draw them in with the bait. Bait what? What you drawing them in for? Our whole thing is to make sure that they don't get drawn in. Did they get any info? You tell me. You was there. Yeah. After I seen Oh, was that you? your brother? Oh, my brother. Because I don't even know who the hell you are right oh, now. Oh, you know who I am, G. If anything, it's just a new look for upcoming productions. You know, that's all it is. Give you it might back. need to do that for yourself, bro. Give it back. Boy. Just like you yeah. need to get Brent Favre off his Wrangler chains. Brent Favre, but you know, I'm Brent Favre you. is a GOAT, bro. He a legend in his own right. Well, hey, go. don't you? That man went into retirement, came back out to this thing, and went back out of retirement, bro. You, you need to retire them pants. And bro, don't you ever need bring to retire them, them pants, boy. You been wearing them pants since middle school, boy. You used to buy cupsicles and them pants. Why are you breathing then? like, are you finna bite me? I don't know the way you was biting some pizza earlier, boy. You, man. Look, man, we came here to talk about one thing. I'm not a rat. So fuck what you got. Oh, we can't say that. Mess what you got to say, nigga. You <laughs> can't say wow. that. <laughs> See? Rat can't even keep his story straight. Down pearl hey, a little too what tight you around. Gotta say, bro. Hey, bro. You, know rat. you might need to take that sock you know tass off, bro. You better hope you don't get what you got going coming to you. So hey. I couldn't even get it out. But it, you hey, know man, look, I'm about. telling you, man, look. What I you said, telling as I me? said before, the rat do what the rat does, you know. Great. The way you was munching on that pizza, boy, you show sure bit the heck out that cheese, bro. I'm telling you. Still got a little stuck in your teeth, too, right there. You might want to get that. Everything out. on you is little. So I mean. Little? Says the man wearing extra small in shoes. You got on my jeans. Boy, Ty, I bet <laughs> I bet if I pull up your pants, your sock won't stop Don't until it reach your thigh, boy. I'm filing a report. Don't touch me, man. But Ty, what's up with them pearls, though, man? That's hey, man, I'm look, this fashion, bro. You fashion? Like, you don't like the pearls? What fa- what's that fashion at, I, I ain't never seen no man wear pearls. You should know, bro. Ain't you like 45? You 45? I mean, I know I got a little gray hair, but you know that. That's that's just experience, man. 28 years young this way. You the one dressed like you still in fifth grade. I don't even know what else to say to you no more. Every time hey. I look at you, I get disappointed. <laughs> what you disappointed in, man? You don't like the fit, bro. The Can you explain the fit? Man, what you mean, bro? Look, all right, bro, look, fuck rap, the fit. Look, Ralph yeah. Lauren. Ralph all right, Lauren, so, Levi. you know what I'm saying? I appreciate my cousin for having me on as a guest star on Tony Talks. Y'all need to tune in because cousin be really doing something with this. You know what I'm saying? It's going crazy. It really is, bro. You know what I said, bro. Hey, this is a star, too. You feel me? You know, we produce nothing but stars over here, bro. I don't know. And we be at each other, but it's all respect. Hey, this is my boy right here, man. That's my boy. real, man. It's all it is, bro. Shoot, you know, as I told him, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk mess about him if I don't like him, you know. But I'm a hip with his style. 